Hello champions welcome to the memory based question solutions that was held today csr net july 2025 i hope your examination went well and you can qualify the examinations too with the jrf conditions myself dr harish garks and you know me very well so let's start with this first of all this is the memory based questions and i have received these questions from my students you can follow my youtube channel where you can find the various other lectures which are helpful for you in the examinations i hope these videos are helpful for you let me know in the comment box whether they are whether you have used my shortcut tricks in the examinations or not now let's start with the first question they are talking about the functions unbounded increasing decreasing limit existence or not since we never know because it's a memory based question whether the limit goes to the zero or whether the x approach is infinity or whatever we never know so let's start with all those cases if fx limit x approach is zero will be given fine then how you can check the limit in a very quick manner clearly say when you take as a zero it's a zero it's a infinity zero into infinity is a undetermined form then i can convert this number it's a log 1 plus 1 over x divided by 1 over x now you can see this is my zero by sorry it's a infinity by infinity form then i can apply the allopter rule once you can apply the allopter rule this number will be this number will be 1 over 1 plus into minus 1 over x square divided by minus 1 over x square so that number will be cancelled so this when you take x is 0 it's a 1 over 0 is infinity 1 over infinity is 0 is the finite answer but he said does not exist on the other hand if i take the limit is infinity then this case will be infinity into 0 again is a indeterminate form in that case this number will be my 0 by 0 form again the same calculations it's a infinity then the answer will be my 1 both the cases limits are my finite so d option will be cancelled out look at the first option whether the cd whether the f is bounded or unbounded now you can see the end points are my 0 so and we already compute what will happen if you take the limit as x approach is 0 this number will be my 0 when you take the limit as x approaches infinity x approaches infinity limit will be my 1 so that means the function is lies between 0 and 1 so therefore the function is my bounded so this option is also cancel out now look at the whether is increasing or decreasing because it's a part b so only one correct option is there so i can calculate the derivative log 1 plus 1 over x plus x into 1 over 1 plus x minus 1 over x square now if you do the calculations it is log of 1 plus minus 1 over 1 plus x fine and in in terms of the logarithm we all knows log of 1 plus a is always greater than a over 1 plus a for all a which are my positive numbers now if i replace a to be the 1 by x so then this number will be log of 1 plus it just a minus if i x is 1 over a then it is a over a plus 1 and clearly say this number is my greater than 0 therefore the function is my increasing right answer is b option is the correct answer okay look at this next one find the unit digits i think it's a very very simple you can get the answer in a 5 second because you all knows the sum of the first n numbers of the cubic is n into n plus 1 n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square n is my 9 9 into 10 divided by 2 whole square that is my 9 into 5 is 45 45 square is 5 to the 20 25 now can you find the unit digits unit digit is my 5 is the correct answer of the problem always remember student these are my memory based questions fine i hope you can like and you can share this video with your friends as well again it's a limit how you can check about the limit again what i told you whenever you have to compute the limit make sure whenever the limit is 1 by n and 1 by n fine whenever it's a 1 over n you can apply the cauchy first theorem fine but whenever it's a power 1 by n you can apply the cauchy second theorem so in this example in this case because the power 1 by n is given i can apply the cauchy second theorem on the limit what is the cauchy second theorem on the limit an as n approaches infinity 
which is equal to limit of a n plus one over a n provided provided this limit is my finite fine now let's start with firstly i can write this number is product of n plus k divided by n raised to power n of 1 over n fine then only it can be written as so what is your a n a n will be n plus 1 n plus 2 up to 2 n divided by n raised to power n fine for more detail you can watch about my this playlist now you can start with the a n plus 1 over a n so the first number will be n plus 2 Second number will be n plus three, and the last number will be two n plus two divided by n plus one, n plus one. Fine. Into n raised to power n, n plus one up to two n. Now clearly say n plus two is the second term cancel, third term is also cancel. Two n will be cancel in the previous term. So then in the numerator it becomes two n plus one, two n plus two. The denominator is I can break them n plus one one n plus one fine and raised to power n and the raised to power n I can combine them n into n plus one raised to power n now you can take the limit as n approaches infinity this value will be my this number is my two two one and one so the this number is my four I can divide the n on the numerator and denominator answer is Four divided by e, which is a finite. So by the Cauchy second theorem, answer is the b is the correct answer of this problem. You can see that uh, I have already uploaded all these questions for you before the examinations. Let me know whether these videos are helpful you in the examinations or not. If you have some more memory based questions, you can send them send to me either by my WhatsApp numbers or you can send in the comment box. I will upload the second part very soon. Till then, you can share this video and like and comment on it. Best of luck, students. Happy learning. Always champions. Thank you.